just an update to my SSG. I uh, kind of got pissed off because this thing was spinning, shaking. Even the people on the second floor of my house complaining it was shaking so much. So I took it apart, uh, put more tape there, put oil, tie it up a little bit, and now this thing, put a mouse pad under right there, the green thing. And this thing's not shaking at all. It's over 900 RPM. Uh, let's see. Let's get a good point here. 948. A beautiful H picture. I never got a signal like that before, ever. Because the spin is so fast, I was able to control the pot. The, the, the variable resistor on the base of the transistor to the point I can get this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful picture. This was the best, most stable signal, and only because it's hell spinning. No vibration whatsoever. Barely can feel the hand. And uh, sometimes I put this tiny coil there. Look how bright it can get. All wasted energy. So I think uh, I see people doing that all the time, putting coils, uh, spin around the coil around this machine. You can get around 12 volts easily from this thing. Oh, well, here's an example. Wasted energy, I'm not using the magnets spinning like that, that crazy. For 900 RPM, it's a very good speed, kind of that. Um, and it's only eating 130 milliamps. Usually I try to keep under 100 milliamps, but right now I'm trying to charge my batteries. And I'm measuring them right now. I'm just trying to charge them up. And this picture is beautiful. The famous H curve. I never got that well. That well designed curve before. That well stable. Super fast spinning, very efficient. No shaking. I'm touching the camera on the base. You probably can hear the humming. But you can see the video is not shaking the, the picture at all. It proves that's really, this is really good. Oh, what I did is a mouse pad. It's using paper, no? Didn't work. Oil, mouse pad, tied up, PVC pipes, aluminum rod, simple as it could ever be, nothing fancy, it just works. So whoever's trying to do an SSG, go ahead, don't waste your time, buy PVC, you put 8 magnets there from uh, Radio Shack. Build a coil, don't care, don't worry about how many feet or how many turns, just fill it up a, a spool. Take the spool from a radio shack, take the speaker's wire away, put them away, take the spool, fill it up. This is like two inches by, I don't know, one inch. Just fill it up, it will be about 300 something feet, it is worth it. It's going to be easier to build. Why is a problem? Now get the board. You get a smaller board. Don't use a big board like this. It's a waste. Get small boards and uh, get these guys. They're very good. By the way, my lights are on since uh, December 14. These are on since uh, December 20th, and this baby here, I don't know if you can see it, it's on December 19th. Solitary little baby.